All right, so next up, we're going to draw a uh, double-threaded square uh, fastener. And this time, I'm going to, you know, roll the same thing. I'm just going to add in double. So I'm going to just wipe out all this stuff. But I am going to move this. Uh, you know, it's kind of ugly. I thought it looked cool, but it didn't. So, okay. So we're going to do a profile of <coughs> 0.25 by 0.25. You know, or basically the width of this right here is going to be half the pitch because we have two teeth. So there's two threads per inch. And uh, I'll delete that. All right, so here's our first one, and then it's gonna be mirrored because it's a, uh, you know, this harkens back to our original discussion. Oops. Had a little cheat sheet I was looking at earlier. Okay, so uh, it harkens back to our earlier discussion, but you know, depending on if it's odd or even, you're gonna have uh, a certain setup. So like. This one goes down and goes up, so it's mirrored, and that's because it's two. If it's two or four, it's going to be mirrored. If it's one or two, or one or three, it'll be copied and pasted down our profile. So uh, having said that, I'm going to basically reproduce this, mirror it down, and see where that gets us. I did forget to uh, add in the end here, so I'm going to... Copy and paste a few of these. All right, that was perfect, actually. All right, so go ahead and do a mirror. So, I'm going to start with this guy. And so before it was straight down, okay, and then one over. And that same rule still applies. I, I connected the wrong dots, but straight down over to the next one. And then just connect the, uh, the other four corners. There we go. It's a general principle. So... Now I'm just going to mirror that. Okay. Now if you notice, we've skipped the tooth. That's because that's literally how this is, you know? So like if I were to measure uh, from here to here, I think it's from there to there. I'm always bad at the representation of how they do it, but I know how to make it work, you know? So it's P and 2P. So if you go from this end to this end, it's P, okay? So then from, ah, I don't have enough items here. Let me draw a few more. <laughs> but, uh, I, well, you know, I guess I could fake it. Okay, so from here to here is P. And then from this same edge to here. Is it there from there? Oh, I had it on the wrong end. Okay. Grab the wrong edges entirely. But yeah, so basically start from this end to there and then straight down there to there. It should be 2P. So P and 2P. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go ahead and delete these out before it gets too confusing here. Like to me, this is already a nightmare just looking at it. And see, I can't even do everything up there because we don't have all of our information yet. So, I'm going to copy. Um, we don't need the vertical lines, but I'm going to get anything I can here. I'm going to copy that. Move it over to the next line. And there we go. Yeah, 
pretty huge mess. <coughs> so, uh, first things first, I can trim out this. I can trim these out because this is going to be a right-handed thread, so it's going to override anything in its path. Uh, so I'm just going to keep wiping here and then make sure my lines are in line so I can trim this portion out. And I'm assuming... Okay, so this is behind the scenes here, so this will stay. I can go ahead and delete this now. But I am still missing uh, these two. Which I trim, but that's because they should be. Okay, so I can go ahead and delete this vertical. And you can tell when it's ready to be deleted because then you'll have these slants that protrude past it. Unfortunately, with square threads, you have to do that mirror trick every time. So, so we still need it over here. But once we get like two good laps, we can copy and paste the rest. So that's really the truth. So we'll just try to press on. Uh, so this is behind the model, the uh, shaft, so we can't see it. And this would be two, I believe. Yeah. Mm, hard to say. Let me let me start over here. Okay, so delete that out. This would be deleted, and this would be deleted. This would be trimmed. Oh, trim, trim. Ah, okay. Unfortunately, I trimmed a line earlier I shouldn't have. This should have been trimmed, because that's where it laps around the model. Okay, so now we'll trim this. So we've got this part right and that part. So then from there, uh, you know, it took a lot of drawing guesswork, but we should just be able to copy and paste the rest in. Basically, you just got to get everything right up to that point, you know. So let's check and see. Missing a few pieces, of course, around here, but... See, I always miss one every time. Should have copied this with it. Okay, so now I can trim off these. Delete that. Delete this. These are behind the main body thread, so I can trim them off. And I think that's it. Let's just double check everything, but it's looking good. Uh, I am going to copy this just to see if that horizontal slants. Okay, so it doesn't, so there's no reason to draw a slant there. Uh, we've got a complete loop for this one, that one. Yeah, so we're golden. Um, everything looks good. I mean, obviously, you know, if you wanted to have a chamfer, uh, it would come off from that minor rate, minor diameter still. But looking at it, as you can see, it would basically be nothing, you know. Uh, 
this side would probably have a little bit, but no, it wouldn't have anything either. So, like, you really can't even do a chamfer on screws like this sometimes. But it is a, a neat concept, I guess. I, I'm sure it has some kind of use, but if you look at it versus our single that I drew earlier, you can see this one travels a little bit further. Uh, it's not a ton, but, you know, it's enough. <laughs> You get that little extra travel distance. Let's see if I can't overlay it a little better. Is it enough to gripe home about? I don't know. You know, I don't, I'm not the, the guy who makes these, but that's all there is to it.